Well, hello and welcome. I'm Rosie and this is my hardcore world. While I extend my farm, because it is presently very little, I will catch you up to speed on how we got here. First things first, I made a new world, obviously in hardcore, and I turned off fire tick. That is the only thing I changed, because we just don't need it. I spawned into a bunch of forests with not much around. I could see a bunch of interesting shapes building on the horizon, so I decided to head for those. Picked up the essentials like some flowers and made my way over. Got some food. And found this. This one giant outcrop of acacia just looming in the distance was absolutely full of coal and iron, so I decided I was going to hang around here and see how much I could get. Started lighting everything up just in case, and then blocked myself in for the night, hoping to not get eaten by anything scary. Because I had no bed, I spent the evening hollowing this cave out and adding a floor just to make it a little more homely. Don't like to live completely in a hovel. The following morning I went out to get some wool to make a bed and I found three sheep just on my doorstep. That was very convenient, thank you very much sheepies. I went scouting for surface iron and found quite a bit on the surface, managed to get some going. I made what I deemed the two most essential starter items, which is a bucket and a shield. Spotted some spruce in the distance, went to get the spruce in the distance and got a load of saplings. Expanded the farm, made a weird little chicken enclosure. Went off and got some weird chickens. Put the weird chickens in the enclosure. Because this is hardcore and I wanted to make the best use out of my resources, I of course decided to smelt down stone just so I could get rid of the dirt in my cave. It's very important, you need everything to look nice. Got rained on. That was fun. Went to get some more iron out of the hillsides. I added some flowers for some much needed decoration because this is important. I did an awful lot of backwards and forwards around the farms, punching wheat and sugarcane and just expanding as much as I could. With some of the iron that I'd found, I was able to make myself some armour pieces. I went for a chest plate and some boots, I think? Yes. Yep, please admire it. Please be stunned. Feeling fractionally more brave, I decided to investigate some of the caves. They were pretty boring. There wasn't much in any of them, but thankfully no mobs either. This big acacia cave that I'd spotted in the distance didn't have anything in it really, but uh, it was nice to have a little explore. It's very tall, I spotted a zombie and I ran away. Decided to be brave and tackle some zombies. Decided to get some cows, trapped the cows in holes in the ground, and did the same with sheep. They are also trapped in a hole in the ground. I contemplated getting some acacia and decided to go for this slightly lower level. There were a couple of trees up there which I was able to punch and get some of the acacia saplings. Found some more iron. And then just kept going. I don't really know why, but I went all the way to the top. I enjoy building in really high up spaces, but that is such a pain in the butt for hardcore, I didn't want to risk losing everything. As tempting as it was to stay up there. I dared my way down, finding more iron on the way, and then decided to just chuck a water bucket down and just just sail down with everything. Once back home, I smelted my perilously one iron and I decided to make the rest of my armour and a couple of tools. Look at me, I'm all completely armoured up for now, and here we are. So as you can see, we're off to a good start. I've got quite a lot of iron left over, but there isn't much more in these hills, not without going dangerously on the slopes, which I, I don't want to do. I have sugarcane going. I have now just over a stack. I have a lot of chickens, so food's not really a problem. And over here I have a pit of cows and a pit of sheep. I'm favouring the cows at the moment because I want the leather, but I don't have enough wheat, which is why I'm expanding the farm. I've got this patch here and I've got another patch just over the hill there. But other than maintaining the farms, I actually haven't done much. I haven't been in a cave, I haven't got anything other than iron and coal. And all I've really been doing is gathering food and saplings, because I'd like some different wood types. I thought this spot was interesting, but the more that I've been here, the more I've realised there's nothing else here. It's just surrounded by woodlands and plains, and it just it's just this. There's no villages, there's no structures, there's nothing interesting. So other than mining and just building with the basic resources, there's not a lot I can actually do. So I'm thinking I need to just move on. Now I... I've never tried hardcore before. I do not know the strats. I am no master of this, so I may very well die. Literally this episode. This might be a one episode thing and then we start again. I would like to do as much as possible. I'd like to get, you know, the end dragon and I'd like to uh, get elytra. I'd like to get beacons, that kind of thing. Whether or not I will is a very different matter. Part of what I'm uh, interested in is to see how this changes how I play. Will it make me more careful? Will I just forget and die? Will I uh, use potions more? Because I very rarely use potions in survival. So it would be interesting to see if this makes me explore different aspects of the game that I usually kind of overlook. 
and for those of you that are here from my survival series, yes, we will be going back to that. Also, it keeps raining in this world. Considering my survival world is probably nearly 3,000 days old now, and I genuinely don't think I've ever seen it rain. It has rained about four times in this one. How many days in are we? 15. Okay. I actually thought I was more than that. So yeah, I've done quite a few days here already. This isn't a particularly swift or efficient series. That is not me. I am neither swift nor efficient. But my plan now is just to stockpile basically supplies. I'm trying to get some saplings. I've already got saplings of all of these. I did get a little bit of the acacia. Um, and then just to get a stockpile of food, things like stone I can just leave behind. I can pick that up anywhere. I was planning on staying here when I built my little base, but now that I've explored around it a bit, there's just, there's nothing here. There's no reason to stay. I think it would be much better to find somewhere that's easier to work with in terms of the land shape, but also a little more accessible for anything more interesting. It might seem a bit much, but I think I'd like to get enough leather from these cows to do a full enchanting setup before we leave. I won't set it up, obviously I don't have diamonds and the obsidian to make the enchanting table, but I can make the bookcases. And it saves me setting the whole lot up again once we reach a different place. I can set up when I'm ready to. Whilst I wait for these crops and things to grow, I might do a little bit of just strip mining. I did start a strip mine somewhere. Where was it? And when I say a strip mine, I mean I dug a little pit down. There it is. That's as far as I got. Okay, on we go. Found some iron. It has been so long since I've done this early game stuff. I probably haven't started a game in about a year and a half. I have completely forgotten how incredibly lacking the durability on these iron pickaxes is. And at least I've uh, got my irons worth back, but uh, still, it's going down much quicker than you'd think it would. Oh good. What horrors lie within. Oh, spiders. I'll take the string though, because I want to make myself a bow. Um, I'm going to do that. I want to get that as well. I can't hear any monsters. Oh, we're at deep slate levels already. I will take an awful lot of torches. I'll, I'll take beetroot. I don't have any beetroot. That will do for now. I think I will block this up with some dirt. I can always come back to this at a later date. Now to jump my way out. I'll make a bow. I think I can make a couple of arrows. 16 arrows. That's better than nothing. I might go get some more gravel while I remember and see if I can get some more flint. Oh yeah, I took the top off this little hill. Two and a half stacks of gravel. Sorry, three and a half stacks of gravel and I got 20 flint. Hmm. Oh, that's going to make a lot. I think I'll just make a stack's worth for now. Two more. There we are, perfect. But at the moment, there's not much else I can do, so I'm just going to pass the time. I'm going to grow my crops, get my cows, get my food stockpiled, and then I think I'm just going to move on. I don't think there's any point in staying here. Get a nice little supply of things, but then we'll just keep on moving. How did you get in there? Anyway, I'll bring you back when I'm ready to go. Okay, I think this will have to do, and I'm going to have to move on now. I've harvested all my cows, I've got all the leather, I've got the sugar cane, and this is the box of stuff that I'm hoping to take with me as I go. I've got a lot of bookcases, I've got some coal, I've got some more arrows, got my iron, got a bit of wool off the sheep, I've got a lot of food, I've got some wood just in case, I've been getting things like the bone meal, I've got some more sugar cane, I've got some kelp just in case I want that. I'm going to take some apples to make golden apples, but I might not actually take those, we'll see. I'll make a, like a hierarchy of the stuff I need to chuck out as and when we're travelling. But for now, I think this is kind of what I need to take with me, and I'm just going to move. There's no point staying. This base, I'm just going to leave here, and I can always come back to it. If I'm ever travelling and I need somewhere to just dip in and hide, this will just be here. It's near enough to spawn that it's easy enough to find. But that's it. My inventory is now packed full. I'm ready to go. I hope I find somewhere a little more interesting. And I think the sun is setting. Okay, we'll spend one more night here, and then we'll travel. Goodbye, little base. Thank you for keeping me safe. But on we go. And this, whoops, says the ravine. This is where we're going to start sailing. Onwards. Hello, dolphin. Whee! I'd quite like, I think, 
to try something like a desert or a mesa build. Definitely don't want to do spruce or tiger because that's where I was in survival, so I don't want to do that immediately. Planes are fine, but I think I'd like something with a bit of character to it, because planes are a bit they're a bit samey. Maybe Savannah, since I don't actually have to use acacia wood because I've got everything with me already. This is quite a cute little island, really, if you wanted an island to start on. I quite like these cliffs, I just don't know what you'd do with them. Ooh, village. Village, village, village. Let's go this way. Anything interesting in here? Not really. Oh, potatoes. Oh, I'd like to get some potatoes. I might just leave 15 chickens behind. There we are. Oh, I'd like to get carrots as well. What can I drop? Right, I'll drop the crafting tables. There we are. I've got veggies. The important vegetables. Oh dear. Oh dear. Oh, it was a child. You okay? Yeah. This really is a lot of forest. Ooh, bit of jungle. That's promising. I don't want jungle, but a warmer biome is promising. Now we're getting some interesting bits. Like these hills. Let's go around the other side and see if we can see the whole lot. I think this is the reverse of the jungle that I first saw, just like real life. So I'm going to go this way, I think, on the ocean. See if I can find anything. Like I say, I don't want jungle itself. I'll take this like sparse jungle or whatever it's called, if there's a big enough patch of it and it's not near a bunch of mangrove, because mangrove messes up my recordings. So if I can find something like that, that would be kind of cool. Not against jungle, it's just such a pain in the butt to clear. Some plains. Hopefully we'll have another village around here. Wow, this really is a plains. <laughs> it just goes on. Any sign of a village. I might shove my render distance up and have a look. What do your elf eyes see? Ooh, savannah. That way might be good. Every time I go near a savannah, I find a lot of villages. I don't know if they're more likely to spawn in certain biomes than others, but I always have good luck with villages in savannas. I don't know why. Maybe it's just because nothing else really spawns there. Aha. Uh -huh. More kitty cats. Bit of jungle in the distance. That's quite nice. Apparently nothing beyond there. Anything this way? There's a big savannah hill there. Possibly desert. Yep, definitely desert over there because we've got a cactus. Yes, definitely desert. Okay, cool. I'm going to go desert ways. I know this village is here. I can find it again when I'm ready for it. But let's go check out the desert. Oh, is that Mesa? That is Mesa. A desert Mesa combo might be quite nice. I'm tempted to a Mesa and stuff because even though I wanted my spruce space to be a little bit kind of Viking-y, as I said in the first episode, it still ended up quite cutesy. It's very leaf heavy because it works. The foliage works in that biome. I'm hoping that with a desert or a mesa being quite brutal on foliage that I won't fall back into that habit too much. There'll still be a bit because I can't help it. It's nice. But I hope that it kind of forces me to make other forms of decoration rather than just spamming everything with leaves. Oh, ho, ho. I have no idea if these are better biomes or worse biomes for hardcore. I'm actually going to guess that they might be worse because I think the husks don't burn up in the sun, do they? Also, there's the risk of falling sand. I still want to go have a look. Oh. I think I like this. This curved bit in the middle is so good. I love this. No, they shouldn't be too big a problem. I don't think I can get down here. This is a nice contrast to my other series. There's plenty of places to explore. I've got a bit of lava. There's the um, the mine shafts. Not sure where I'm going to put the base. Do I want to put it over in the green bit? And then I can build stuff out here. I will probably have to transplant some dirt, won't I? There's a bit of oak over there. There's definitely some jungle behind. But for now, I think I'm going to stop here. Bed. Okay, I will sort that out in a moment. But I think I'm going to call it here for today. Because this has gone on longer than I thought it would. I thought I would go over a hill and find something nice. And I've been on a very long journey. Wow, I've been on a very long journey. Three and a half thousand blocks one way and three and a half thousand the other. Not what I intended, but it is hardcore so it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter how far I am from spawn. I am going to get myself set up with some farms again. I'm going to transplant some dirt over. And next episode we're going to build a little house and try and decide what we're actually going to do here, at least in this bit. Obviously, once we're done here, we'll move on and do other things, <laughs> if the series allows. No accounting for deaths. Be nice to see what we can do here. This is a very different 
build environment from my, uh, my survival world, so it'll be interesting to see what happens, because I don't know. I've not got plans. But anyway, thank you very much for watching, and I hope you enjoyed, and I hope to see you next time. And I know I don't usually do this, but please, if you have enjoyed this, consider giving it a like and subscribe. I've never asked before, this is my first time, I think. Did I ask before? I don't remember. I don't think I ever have done, so there we are, I have asked. But again, thank you for watching, and I hope to see you next time. Bye for now!